Logan! I told you not to mess with the hollow room when I'm in it. I get two hours in here a day. Jake, we have an issue. All the alarms are going off. What's going on? Oh no, the space system's auxiliary power is turned on. We're in alert red. This thing's barely got any power. What's going on? Ah, ah, stabilizer all over the place. Logan? Jeez, we're losing power. Did this just happen? It happened about five minutes ago. I don't know what's going on. Something's tripping with our electrical systems. All of the emergency systems are online. We're losing oxygen, everything. Well, check the fuse box. Hold on, I'm turning off thrusters to reserve power. I'm turning the oxygen down to 10%. Heat's already gone. We're good for 30 minutes at most. Pass me the power welder. Oh, it's a mess in here. Okay. Oh, no, what am I looking at here? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't good. This isn't good. Jake, do you think you can fix it? I, I, don't, I don't know! guys it's Papa Jake here from Team Bivney and we are back with a brand new video and today guys we are doing something extra special Logan it's something they've been asking for for months for years for lifetimes what are they asking for Logan oh, oh you don't know I haven't briefed you yet rice cakes no Logan they do not want rice cakes they want space week 2.0 that is right if you guys miss our space week during the summer well you guys missed out on a lot you should definitely go check those out links in the description down below Jake you didn't tell me we were going to space. I told you to pack, Logan. I said pack some warm clothing and a little bit of food. It's really cold in space, dude. Logan, did you even train? You need to be in top physical shape to go to space. But guys, we are doing Space Week 2.0 here on the channel, and it is kicking off today with us building a rocket ship. That's right, we're building a rocket ship because we are going on a space mission. We need to link up with the International Boxport Space Station up there in space and go on a deep space exploration. But in order to do so, we gotta build a rocket ship because we, we, we gotta get all the way up there. And it's far up there, like it's way far. Like, you can't even see it. That's how far up there it is. And of course, guys, like I said, this Space Week is completely up to you. If you guys want us to have Space Week 2.0, if you want these episodes to continue, smash that like button down below. We're trying to crush 50,000 likes on this video and we will continue Space Week. And of course, if you happen to be brand new to the Papa Jake family and never want to miss an awesome video, hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget, hit the little bell button so you never miss a brand new video. Ding! It goes ding! When you click it, trust me, just try it. Click that bell button, it goes ding! But guys, before we jump into things, we need to start by building a spaceship. There's a whole empty spot here, a bunch of cardboard, but no spaceship. So I think first things first, if we're gonna get up there to the International Boxford Space Station, we need to get this ship built and quick so we can go on our space expedition. So let's grab our cardboard and start mapping this thing out and build ourselves a box for a spaceship. So guys, we're gonna start with the cardboard on the ground like this, and I'm thinking for this build, we go for sort of like a two-seater, but back-to-back. -back. The spaceship isn't gonna be like a massively wide spaceship, it's gonna be more going for that long look, so we're gonna have me up front and then Logan's seat behind me, so he can access his controls from behind, I can access mine from the front, and we have to make a docking feature so we can dock up with the International Box Force Space Station. There's a lot to do, so let's get building. We just went ahead and lit the inside of the box for its spaceship. It is coming together. It is looking awesome. Look at these rocket boosters. They are crazy. So we've got three huge rocket boosters which are going to help us get into space and link up with the International Box Sports Space Station. So now all I have to do is I've got to get inside, create the control panel in the actual box for itself. We've got a bit more to do but we're almost ready to take off. The spaceship is complete and this thing is awesome. Take a look inside guys. So this is kind of our entrance once we're all geared up. This is where we'll go in from. So inside here is where we have all of our control panels as well as our lighting, so check this out. This is our launch bay here. This is where we can access all of our controls when we're ready to launch, so we can put it into, like, for example, pre-launch setting. We can uh, go here to cycle oxygen modes, and of course, uh, just turn it back to a nice kind of calming blue. We are ready to take off. We just gotta get geared up in our spacesuits and get this thing on the runway so we can launch up to the International Boxford Space Station. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys the docking system we're gonna use to dock with the space station, as well as the engine so we can see if it's working. So this is the dock that we're going to be using to connect our spaceship to the International Box Force Space Station. It attaches to our ship here and when we're ready to dock we'll activate a button and then just like that it's going to extend and attach to the International Space Station and then we're good to go through here without any hazard of coming into contact with space because you know that that's a bad thing. But now this is ready we're going to go inside and we're going to cycle the engines make sure that it's working then we'll gear up and we're ready for liftoff. Jake's inside the rocket ship and he's gonna cycle the engines to see if they work. All right, Jake, go for it. 
All right, engines are good to go. Jake, they worked. All right, guys, so now we're ready to finally take off. Before we do that, we've got to get geared up in our space suits. Three, two, one. Whoa! That was awesome. Here we go, guys. I'm all geared up, got my space suit on, and we are ready to take off. Three, two, one. Oh, dude. All right, Houston, this is Soaring Eagle over. We are ready for a liftoff. Cycling engines one, two, and three now. Primers look good. Checking oxygen systems. Oxygen systems are good. I report oxygen systems are good. Checking life support systems now. Life support systems are online. Emergency systems one, two, and three are online. I repeat, they are online. Cycling thrusters two and five now. Houston, this is Soaring Eagle over. Everything is looking good. And we are ready for liftoff. Prepping for launch in T minus two minutes. All right, Logan, get your helmet down. This is it. We're going to the space station. How are we looking for trajectory? We're looking good, Jake. All right, looks good. All systems are a go. Fuel is good. Oxygen is good. Uh, Logan, can you cycle the locking system? Make sure we'll be able to dock. Looking good, Jake. All right, roger that. We are ready for liftoff. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster's on. We are ready for ignition. Booster's 1 and 2 are looking good. Look at how's our trajectory. It's looking good, Jake. Roger that over. Life support systems are still green. I repeat, life support systems are still green. Holding on, G-Force. All right, entering atmosphere mode. Hold on, hold on. It's gonna be a little bumpy from here until we stabilize. It's gonna be stabilizing in five seconds, roughly. Two, one. Reaching out our orbit. Zero gravity has been achieved. Logan, can you cycle gravity? Cycling gravity, bringing it down now to zero. Oh, 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 oh. Again, a little warning. All right. Oxygen is online. Roger that, gravity's looking good. All right, I'm gonna need you on the trajectory system, getting us in line with the International Space Station. How are we looking? Looks like we're gonna be docking in about five minutes. Five minutes, got that over. Oxygen is holding. Uh, both thrusters have departed. Heading back to you, Houston, over. Houston, this is White Eagle, over. We have achieved orbit. Gravity systems are online, as well as oxygen systems. Both thrusters are coming back to you. We'll be docking with the International Box Force Space Station in T-minus three minutes. We have visual on the International Space Station up on our comms. A bit to your right. Okay, we're coming in in three, two, one. Roger that. Checking dock. Pressure is good. Houston, this is White Eagle over. We have successfully docked with the International Box Ford Space Station. We're gonna relieve both pressure locks and attempt to make our way into the space station itself. Everything is looking good. Life support systems are online and we are receiving power from the space station. All right, pressure lock is good. Logan, you're through. I'm coming after you. All right, heading through the docking port into the International Space Station. Uh, all is green. Uh, Oxygen and pressure is holding. All right, pressurizing the lock door. Now. Perfect. We're sealed in. Well, welcome home, dude. This is the International Box Fort Space Station. I think it's time we check this place out and see what our new home for the next three years is gonna be like. Oh, this place is crazy. Dude, this is sweet. Oh, these are the cryopods. Those are the beds? They're cryopods. These will allow us for deep space travel. We'll be cryogenically frozen in these. We can last thousands of years. Our journey's gonna take us far beyond this solar system. The planets we've never seen before. Uh, looks like oxygen's running well. I'll have to take a trip to the control panel. The laboratory's behind it. And down at that end should be the hollow chamber. What's the hollow chamber? The hollow chamber simulates Earth. When we're up here for years at a time, we see nothing but black space. We need something to simulate home, or else we'll go crazy. All right, let's get to the command room. All right, all systems are online. Life support systems are online. I'm gonna cycle through some of the basics here, just make sure we're all running at full capacity. Just gonna cycle through. Life support is good. 
Emergency systems are online. Houston, this is White Eagle over. We have made docking. Oh, Jake, what's this thing? This is a universe map. It's kind of similar to the topography that we use in regular maps, but it's four dimensional. All right, Houston, this is White Eagle over. We have docked with the International Boxford Space Station. Vital signs are good for both me and Logan, and the space station is, well, in perfect condition. Uh, everything is good for us to disembark and start our journey to the great beyond. How's the weather up there, boys? Well, I can't say the weather's too nice up here. It's mostly just dark, but it is quite warm in here. A little toasty, like I'm on a beach. Houston, we are good with your permission to start our engine thrusters on the International Boxford Space Station and head out. Roger that, White Eagle. You are clear to go. Roger that, Houston. We are good. Looks like we are at full capacity. Houston, we are ready to embark. Thrusters are on. Secondary thrusters on. Fourth thruster on. Cycling oxygen is on. Radio comms are good. Life support systems are good. We are ready. Engine start. Starting engine one. Okay, engine one has started. Engine two has started. Engine three has started. You want to do the honors? Kick us off to the unknown, buddy. Three, two, one. Ooh, feel the kick on her. All right, Houston, we are good. International Boxport Space Station is headed to the great beyond. This is going to be an amazing adventure. All right, Jake, I'm looking for it. Come on. Logan, the fuse! Jake, is this it? Yes, Kayla, that's it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on! <sighs> <sighs> Looks like power's back on. Life support systems are back on. Oxygen's returning to normal. Logan, sit down, your heart rate's too elevated right now. Jake, that was not good. No, it wasn't. The thing knocked out every single power fuse in this thing. We are left with one single fuse that held us alive. Looks like all the electronics are returning to normal. We're gonna try and turn back on both thrusters. Thruster one, thruster two. There we go, she's turning on. And cycling life support, oxygen. All right, power's back to normal. Jake, what do you think could have caused this? Not what, Logan? Who? We got hit with, with something similar to an EMP blast. It knocked out all of our power. Something with this big of a magnetic field is not natural. Are you talking about aliens? Cause I don't want to see no aliens. Yeah, I'm talking aliens. There, that's the planet causing the disturbance. It's undocumented. We haven't seen anything like this before. It's not even in our database. So you're saying there's aliens there? I don't know. But something that causes that big of a magnetic field it can't be natural. It's gotta be man-made or whatever they are. I'm gonna set course to the planet now. We're gonna make our way there. Jake, are you sure that thing almost knocked us out? Logan, that's exactly what this mission is all about. We have to discover new lands. Whether those lands are inhabited or not, or dangerous or safe. It's part of our mission. I've zeroed in on the planet's coordinates. It's roughly 30 light years away. 30 years? Jake, I don't wanna age 30 years. Logan, we're not gonna age 30 years. We're gonna go in the cryopods. We'll be asleep for the time being. You won't age a minute. All right, coordinates are set. I have it set to emergency mode, so if anything happens, it'll wake both of us up. I think it's time to get ready for the long sleep. Let's go have our last supper. Come on. All right, well, one last meal before we go to bed for 30 years. Saved us some of the good stuff. Ice cream. Well, space ice cream. It's a little dry, not very cold, but you know. I'm down with vanilla. Do you really think there's aliens out there? I don't know. I really don't. But in 30 years from now, when we wake up, see that planet, we'll have our answer. But you know what I'm more looking forward to? What's that? I'm just excited to make a new discovery either way. A new planet, Logan. This is huge. And we're gonna be the first people to step foot on it. Whether we find aliens or not, I'm just happy I got my space ice cream. A little bit more crunchy than I thought. It's now time for us to head to our cryopods. We've set course on the International Space Station to go towards the unknown, a brand new planet that we've never found before. We're gonna head to the cryopods now and go into cryogenic sleep for the next 30 years. Of course, guys, don't forget, if you wanna see part two and see us land on that planet, 
be sure to smack that like button down below. We're trying to crush 50,000 likes. All right, Logan, it's time to get in your crowd pod. I'll set the sleeping mechanism on. All right, Jake, see you in 30 years. Bye, guys. He's asleep. Time to go set my crowd pod up. I didn't want to alarm Logan, but the magnetic fields that we saw on that planet I think we might be heading into an alien world. All right, time to go to bed. Unfortunately, you don't dream in cryo sleep, but at least it's better than waiting 30 years. When we wake up, we should be at the planet. I'm ready to start a new adventure.